Greetings, guys and gals. Welcome back. Welcome back. Joseph James here at School of Trade. Sidewaysmarkets.com is the address for our blog. Feels good to be back here on a, on a summertime Tuesday. Let's talk about the trade of the day today. Now, this time of the day, it's, it's right in the meat and potatoes of lunchtime. We've finished up with our morning trading with members. We'll be doing our open house later this afternoon. Speaking of open house, I want to remind you guys, you mean you haven't registered for our free trial yet? Guys, did you know our free trial has probably more information given away for free than most of my, comp my, most of my competitors out there want to charge you for? The free trial is going to teach you all about my trading methodology. It'll teach you all about how we run our business. It'll even show you some live clips from today's trade room, yesterday's trade room. You can analyze our track record. It's all there in your free trial. Now, if you want to see all the trades that I took today, if you're an advanced member, log into your advanced course. I always post the full recap right, for all the advanced members because you guys, you guys are the most important for me. But of course, don't forget, I also put that in the free trial. So join the free trial. Give us a call here in the office. And don't forget, I've got a special invitation for you to come out and join us today, this afternoon, for our live trade room open house. Come out and see how we do it. All righty? Now, before I let you go here, before we talk about the charts here today, I want to give you one more reminder. If you haven't booked those flights yet to Las Vegas, you better do it soon, guys. November 21st and 22nd, we're going to be in Las Vegas, Nevada, guys. I'm telling you right now because space is limited. Every one of our members gets two free tickets. And, guys, we're trying to get that final head count. Now, in the old days, this was only for members. Now, we've, we've opened this up now to non-members as well. So, members and non-members. Now, members, you guys have this for free. Uh, non-members, though, here's a chance for you to meet some current members. Here's a chance for you to learn with me. We've got two full days. That's two full training days. And, of course, we'll have two full nights as well. We just might find something fun to do in Vegas while we're there. Great way to network. There's going to be a Traders Expo in town that same weekend. So as if you need any excuse to go to Vegas, guys, grab your, uh, grab your, poker, your, your, uh, your poker book and come out and see me in Las Vegas. We've got two full days of training and trading and networking. Again, the yearly 2013 Member Summit and Trading Seminar. Excited, excited, excited. Don't forget to use the blog, but let's go forward here. I want to show you what we saw today. Now, we talked about crude oil yesterday morning, right? We talked about crude. Today, I want to talk about the Russell. Now, like many of you know already, we are not bound by one market or one time frame. Really, in, in all reality, guys, I have a methodology that is scalable and can work on any market I choose. So this morning, we traded crude, we traded gold, we traded euro, we traded Russell. Now, crude oil, definitely by far my favorite, but the mini Russell is no slouch, no slouch either. Let's take a look at what we saw in the Russell, and let me show you why it's so important for us to use multiple time frames. Multiple time frames, what does that mean exactly? Let's think here for a second. Multiple time frames is a term that we use to describe using a slow time frame, which we'll call the anchor chart, and the fast time frame, which we will call the entry chart. Now, the anchor chart is really simple. The, the anchor chart is pretty simple. The anchor chart, number one goal for the anchor chart is to find direction and support and resistance. Okay, what does this anchor chart tell me? Because this is an anchor chart. This is a 60-minute chart of the Russell. Now, this is about as slow as I would recommend you go for your anchor, anchor charts if you're an intraday trader. One time frame slower would be a 240-minute, a four-hour chart. Okay? All too often, though, day traders make that critical mistake in trying to use a daily chart as their anchor. Okay? I'm going to teach you how to choose the right anchor charts, but just be aware, for most traders out there, Right? The most bang for the buck is going to come with a 60-minute chart. That's going to be your slowest anchor chart. That way, you're still going to get enough information, but it's not going to be so disconnected such as a daily chart would be for a tick chart. Okay, I want the anchor chart to be slower, but I don't want it to be too slow. And then when it comes to the fast time frame chart, the fast time frame then will go find the entry around the area that I've defined on the anchor. So the anchor chart finds direction 
and it finds major support and major resistance. We know that major support and major resistance is where we can expect traders to react. It does not guarantee a winning trade. It does not guarantee anything at all. It's where we expect traders to react. So today on this anchor chart, we quickly found a bullish channel. Boy, if you don't know the equities are making all-time highs right now, guys, you got to pay attention because this is something that we may look back on six months from now and say, whoa, that was one of the biggest bull rallies we've seen in the last 10 years. Right now, we have a very strong bullish sentiment in the E-minis and overall, all of the equities, right? We continue to hear and we continue to see news reports that continue to tell us the dollar is going to grow even more. It's going to get stronger and that's only giving more fuel to the fire for these rising equity indexes. This is the Russell. This is a stock index future, right? So it's a, it's a basket of equities that are on the Russell 2000, just like the S&P would be a basket of companies or a basket of equities, right? That would be on the S&P 500. Okay. We found a bull channel. Now, remember my anchor chart tells me what direction, what would the direction be? Any guesses on direction? What would you say if somebody asked you, Joe, you got to you got to guess which direction would you want to get in? I'm going to say long. I'm going to say long. Just a hunch. OK, again, we got this big bullish channel. Now, you might be saying to yourself right now, no, Joe, no, because can't we go lower here? Yes, we definitely can. We can easily drop lower on this chart. But what I'm talking about is what is the long term trend direction? and it is moving higher. Why do I care about that? Well, because I know if I trade in that direction, I'm going to have the highest percentage opportunities. Okay, pretend you're a poker player. We're trying to put the odds on our side. We're trying to find any edge we can get. And we put the odds on our side, we put the odds in our favor when we trade with the direction of the long-term trend. So we know today the long-term trend is rising higher and that tells us direction long. Okay, that's only one portion of this, of this anchor chart. The second thing is it's going to find support and resistance. Support and resistance, support and resistance. Okay, where is the resistance? Well, we got 1057 and we got the top of that channel. What about support? Support below, I've got the cloud. I've got the lows of the channel. I have the swing low at 1047.1, swing low at 1042. You get it, right? You get the point. Resistance is above me. Support is below me. So where would be the easiest clue? Where do you think that easy money would be? And every morning we come in at 8 o'clock in the morning and we talk about this, right? Members, we talk about this every morning. My job as a trader is to find that bag of cash sitting in the corner, walk over and pick it up. I don't need to reinvent the wheel. I don't need to do everything. I don't need to know everything. I don't need to know very much. All I need to know right now is, is that the direction is higher, right? Moving higher. And this bull channel tells me that we have support at the lows of that channel. Right? If we blew right through the lows, I would say the next support level is at 1047.1. So where is my support? Support is at the lows. All righty. So this anchor chart just gave me every bit of information that I need to be successful today. I know the direction is up. I know that the support level, which is where I'm going to get the best trades today, is at the lows of the channel. Now, Let's think about this. Price can move in three different directions. Price can move in three different directions. Price can move sideways. Price can move higher. And price can move lower. Again, every morning we prepare ahead of time. What if price moves sideways? What will I do? I'll sit on my hands. I'm not near any support or any resistance. I will sit on hands. What if price moves higher? If price moves higher, I now, because I'm in a bull channel, because we're, we're, we're rising higher, I'm going to take that as a clue and I'm going to buy pullbacks using my wave pattern to get long. What if price moves lower? 
If price moves lower, we do have a short-term selling opportunity because you can see there is a lot of wide open space there to go to the downside. But again, as I said earlier, what's the direction? The direction is moving higher, so we know that selling short will be a little bit lower percentage. right? You're not going to get the easy move selling short. It's when we get to those lows now, I'm now going to buy those lows, and I'm going to use a very simple pattern that we call the two-step. So we have three scenarios. Sideways, I'm sitting on hands. Higher, I'm buying pullbacks. Lower, I've got a, a slightly lower percentage trade short, a very high percentage trade long. Let's see what happens here. We don't need to go very far ahead of time here. And all of a sudden, the market takes off the downside. Now, this is that classic example of we can trade short on the way down, but we know it's not the high percentage trade. What's the high percentage trade? I'm buying these lows. We see the regroup, and then you're going to see here what's going to happen next is, is we're going to see that big, big green candlestick, and it will bring it right back up. Let's take a look and see what happened around this 1050 area just before 11 a.m. Eastern Time. The anchor chart gave us direction. The anchor chart told us what to look for. Now all we're going to do is, is find that pattern. I now move forward here to an entry time frame chart. Remember, we talked about using multiple time frames. This is an 89 tick chart, one of the fastest time frames we'll use. It's a great fit for the Russell because the Russell tends to be a little bit lower volume, especially during the summertime months. Now, we began here this morning and see this is at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. 10 a.m. Eastern Time, we're looking at this Russell trading completely sideways, very, very narrow. And then we get the Richmond Fed manufacturing number that comes out, and you're going to see us start to make some new lower lows here. Now, remember, once we, once we get those new lower lows, we can then begin trading short. There's your wave number one. Here comes your wave number two. Wave number two. And you're going to see this move keep, continues to go lower. Now, I want to remind you here that we've got wave number one, wave number two. Now, remember how I said earlier, we can take that trade short, but it's not going to be the high percentage trade. Well, as you can see here, we got two easy trades. One was a nice big winner, but the second one here, whoop, bounces you out before it keeps going. We knew this is going to be higher risk. So we stayed away from the sell side. We stayed patient to see once this, once this takes a turnaround, that's when we know. And we knew that it was going to happen here sometime around this 1050 area. Now, think about this also. We know that the highest percentage trades are going to occur the first two, three wave patterns we see after a breakout. Right now, I can see one. I can see two, there is three, there's my third wave right there. So at this point now, we know we're oversold. Waves love to come in threes. If you ask RN Elliott, how many waves make up the Elliott wave? Five waves. So after three, four, five of these waves, guys, we're starting to get oversold here. And we're starting to get a little bit away from our rules. My rules tell me, look for those first two wave patterns after the cross, after the trend changes. But remember, we're not trying to go short here. We're trying to get long. And you're going to see here we continue. Wave number four, new lower low. Wave number five, new lower low. Again, can I take these trades? Absolutely, I can. But we are focused on the high percentage trade. Now, after the fifth wave, we are way oversold. We're right around that 1050 area. Remember, we're right around the lows of that range. So we know better than to be selling short into this area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be a professional trader, and we're going to let the market make its turn here by using a very simple pattern, which we call the two-step pattern. Watch what happens when we make the turn here. It's a W pattern at the lows. Now, we know that the anchor chart told us to be looking to buy right here. 
but I want you to see something very important. Divergence. The divergent signal that fires off tells us that momentum has made a new lower low, but we have not made that lower low in price. That divergence is combined directly with the anchor chart, again, at that 1050 area. We know the anchor chart is giving us major support. We know that we have one, two, three, four, five waves. If RN Elliott was sitting all looking over my shoulder right now, he would say, yeah, I'd be looking to get long right here, Joe. Right? We know we're looking for the long. All we need now is the pattern. And watch what happens here. You're going to see the pattern will quickly develop. This will take you into the trade. There's your entry long. What I will do now is, is I got to plan my targets. I'll use my Fibonacci based profit targets to go in and mark up target number one, mark up target number two. And you can watch for yourself here, guys. I'm going to buy at the lows of the bull channel on the anchor chart. We know we're oversold. We get the pattern. First target comes relatively quickly. Stop, of course. Don't forget, stop begins at the lows. Stop now is trailed using our trigger zone. Members, you guys should know what I'm talking about. I'll be trailing that stop all the way through. We're going to see it pull back a little. And again, that second box up top here, that becomes my final target now on this trade. We keep going, we keep going, and again, you'll get two targets filled. This is what it looks like a little bit more dressed up. Okay, a little bit easier to follow on this one. And so again, same thing. This is the same exact chart, just has a little more drawing objects on it. And you can see on this, of course, one, two, three, four, five, we are we are ready for the reversal now. We see the W pattern happen after the reversal. As you can see, we didn't get a W pattern to occur any other time along the way down. So I'm definitely not cherry picking this, this, uh, this entry pattern. You can see that W pattern a mile away. We take entry at the break of the W. My first target goes at the bottom of trigger zone number one. Again, I'm gonna trail my stop loss. Never even came close to trailing the stop. And of course, second target is all the way up. And you're gonna see here afterwards, it's gonna roll over here and play dead. An excellent example here this morning on the Russell. Step number one was to find the direction and find the major support using this anchor chart. Once we found the direction, once we found the major support, it was easy from there, folks. Now what we had to do was wait to get to that location, find the pattern, enter that trade with confidence, and then manage your trade correctly. As always, guys, I do not expect you to know all of this, and that's exactly why we do training every single day. Every day we're doing ongoing training. Guys, if you're ready to kickstart your career, if you're ready to take your career to the next level, guys, what are you waiting for? We are the premier location online. Nobody comes close to the amount of resources, materials, consistency we provide us, and we're the absolute best place to learn and earn on the Internet, guys. What are you waiting for? By the time this fall comes around, you will have missed your opportunity to get trained so you can capitalize on the best time of the year. My name is Joseph James. I want to invite you to come out and join our free trial. Don't forget to come out and see us in Las Vegas, Nevada at the end of the year, November 21st and 22nd. Members, you guys get free tickets to that event. And as always, have a great afternoon. Don't forget to learn this stuff so you can earn with this stuff. Members, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time in our live trade room. If you're a guest, come out and join the free trial, and I'll invite you to come attend our trade room this afternoon. That's it for me now. I'll see you guys here, same time, same place. Manana. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye for now.